going on you the tube i am hot mess ness anyway otherwise known as vanessa and i know you're thinking to yourself damn ness you look amazing i know thank you thank you very much no but really today i am barefaced and crazy haired because i'm getting ready to do a little park date with my kiddos uh i don't always do that kind of stuff don't get it twisted there's sometimes i'm like you guys need to go somewhere but today we're gonna do a little you know family fun but i wanted to test out the confidence in a foundation foundation and the heavenly skin really strangely shaped brush see what had happened was Ulta sent me a little message after I missed the 20% off sale because I was gonna buy this but I didn't get an email I didn't get anything but in my app so I didn't even know I had a 20% waiting for me but um, you know post the sale I got a little message from Ulta saying hey we increased your credit limit. And I was like, oh, yay, I'm going to go buy the foundation anyway. This foundation is $32. It comes with one ounce of product. I was reading all over this thing thinking that it might tell us some stuff. It says it's a long-wearing, flawless-looking velvet matte finish foundation that gives you all-day confidence, uh, all-day confidence every time you wear it, plus it up to 24 hours a wear and hydration, perfect for even sensitive skin. This oil-free foundation feels weightless on the skin and is infused with hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, squalane, and ceramides. Yes, baby. Okay, bye. Using your favorite It Cosmetics brush, buff one to two pumps of foundation onto clean skin in circular motion. But that's the thing is, I caught a glimpse of this from Tati and it must say in the PR kit that it does oxidize. It didn't say it anywhere on the box or when I was shopping. So, you know, I think brands need to not just put all of their eggs in the basket of beauty gurus because not everyone is going to check into that. It should be very clearly on the packaging, like, hey, choose a shade lighter. So here's the packaging. I heard this didn't rate very well on the Ulta website. It's a velvet matte finish, and usually I wouldn't fall into the brush. I wouldn't, but I just thought for the sake of this, it'd be fun. Your skin will thank you for it. Unique brush head hugs the contours of your face. For an even application, this damn brush is $42. So if I hate it, I'm sending it back because I did not get a discount. No PR, no discount, none of that. I wonder who's on, besides Tati, who's on IT Cosmetics PR list. That's a list I'd like to be on. I do like their products. Revolutionary, it's revolutionary. IT Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Brush Hair is infused with anti-aging collagen, silk, peptides, niacinamide, and oxidants. Antioxidants. The brush is infused with that? Where's the ingredients list then on the brush, huh? That sounds like a bunch of BS if you ask me. How do you infuse it into the brush? That sounds like silly hype because when you wash the brush, do you wash away niacinamide? So don't ever wash this brush. You'll have acne, but your skin will be less wrinkled. Buff your favorite foundation and color infused skincare products into your skin. Extend the use of your brush. Use their brush cleaner once a week. Oh, it's hella soft. That's nice. It's, it's a weird shape, huh? I mean, I might be able to get behind that. Anyway, moving right along, we're gonna prime. I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime, which I got from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I'm already got my sunblock on and all my skincare. I think I need a little more. And with this video, we'll, we'll do some check-ins, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my Urban Decay because it's a little bit thicker and I'm gonna fill in some of the spots that get real porous. You know, here and here. I got a wicked zit right here on my nose. I was like, seriously? Thank heaven for AHA and BHA because I didn't have to pick it and try to pop it, it just, a little bit of that just covered <clears throat> that right up for me. So taking my little spongy do where I put the optical illusion, 
I'm just making sure that's pressed in. All right. Now it said what? What am I supposed to do? I've already forgotten. I have the shade 205 medium. I was gonna go for another one and then I was trying to take in consideration. Come on. Ooh, it's thick. Take into consideration that it could oxidize on me. So me and the Ulta chick were going back and forth but they were right at closing. So hopefully I don't go, you know, um, 15 shades. This brush is super soft, but it's not exactly easy to buff with. I mean, it, it makes it so it's not aggressive, your buffing, because see, it's, it's real flimsy, so you're not gonna get like that aggressive like you would with, say something like this, where you can circular. This is only gonna go into certain areas and lick it. It's soaking up the product like a mofo. That's the one thing about these kind of brushes, whatever synthetic stuff that's in these, it's like instant, all your product. The end of the brush is useless. See, I'm not, I mean, I get the idea here and you could technically get in here, but it's blending nicely. Maybe it wants you to use less of the product. Maybe that's the story. Let's try going like this so I can get a more precise. Um, I think if I was a beauty guru and someone sent me this brush for free, I might like it. Or if it was the little heart one that they sent out, Oh man, I've been trying to look for that one because it's obviously discontinued. It had the little glittery stuff on the inside and I have been looking everywhere because my Ulta didn't have it in stock and I was a stubborn cow and didn't want to buy it online. I get like that with certain things. I'm like, no, I want to go in and pick it up. So I couldn't get it and now I've been searching on like Mercari and I guess other people want it and now this limited edition brush is like $65 and it wasn't that much in the first place. So um, I tried to get a little bit and use the tip here, but it's so loose. Look, I can't, I can't get anything done with that. This side, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really, that right there, mm, hype. Wanted to show this clip to show you guys how because the brush is thicker at the back, it's going to blend in the back, but then because the front is so thin, it doesn't really blend. That product just sits there. So I wanted you to get a visual of what I was talking about. I'm feeling like this brush might be going back, guys. It might be going back. But I definitely think a brush is the way you want to go with this particular formula because, you know, it, cosmetics is all about a more natural look. Although I can cake on their stuff and look like I'm wearing MAC, you know, like that. I got it on. So this, this brush is kind of pissing me off. Cause if you have a little bit of foundation that hasn't kind of soaked into the brush right here, then it can like reapply and kind of get flicky and weird. I don't know, but it looks really nice. Excuse my red eyes, okay? If it oxidizes, it might be a really good shade match. Right now it's a little bit lighter, but I did put some self tanner on. I'll have to tell you guys my adventures in self tanning. Uh, one end of the brush I could see I'm supposed to be going circular motion. I'm getting lazy and I'm going all over the place. All right, I'm gonna go in with the rest of where I want more coverage and use a beauty blender. I think if you want a brush application, you can go with any standard little circular brush. Let's just try it. Let's just, this is a an it Cosmetics brush. Let's see what we can get from this. Yeah, you don't need to buy that brush, guys. It's It's weird. It's really soft, but it's so soft to a flaw. Uh, that will definitely be going back because I would just be using it to convince myself that I liked it. You know, like I don't wanna mess around. I don't wanna sit here and spend 20 minutes trying to get underneath the eyeball area. 
I still got, you know, the parts that peep through. Now, I'm not gonna pull a beauty guru moment and put on, you know, 15 layers of cream and powder products. That's just not what I'm going for today. I just wanna see how this foundation does. I got some skin peeping through, which is, you know, it says it's a full coverage. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I haven't even been doing full pumps. Oh, that's nice. So if you want it, you know, more in your face, I think go in directly. Oh, melasma, why must you suck? Sometimes I like to just go in with the fingers, you know? Oh, I just picked it all up. All right, don't use the sponge. Commit to one thing or another. Now I gotta go in and place some more back down. All right, that sucks. Don't be in a hurry when you're trying to showcase something. Okay, I'm feeling the full co coverage here. Let's go up in the ears so I don't have such a crazy moment here where it's like, oh, look. How different is it? I'm waiting for it to oxidize here, people. I probably should have got the other shade, huh? Damn you, Tossie. You hadn't told me that it oxidized. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go in and add my concealer, see if it oxidizes and bronzer and all that kind of stuff because you guys just wanna know how this product works. I wanna know how this product works. We're gonna move on, okay? I'll see you in a minute, probably with a lot more makeup on. With this brush, I can't, I can't, because of, you know, I, I don't know. I want to love this brush because I bought it, you know? I didn't buy it and want to hate it. Mm, mm, yeah, no, brush is gonna go. Brush is, how do you, maybe if you used other things first and then you went in and used it as a finishing brush, but it's just so extra. And uh, I'm usually not that girl, so I'll be right back, guys. Am I? Am I in focus? I hope so. Anyway, okay, I did really easy. I didn't do my cream contour. I did bronzer, just powder. Hey, I don't need you talking over me. Uh, I know my bun is ridiculous, but. I was in a hurry, okay? Really, really simple. We're just focusing on the foundation. I think it looks really good. It is definitely full coverage um, and can be built up. I feel like this is my shade right now, but I got a little bit of the fake tan going, so I could have probably gone the darker shade. Most of the time, my face don't match anyway. So I feel like it's nice. We'll do some check-ins. It is 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I have had this on about a half hour. I just did a real light pressing of powder. I guess to be fair, I should just do a little bit, just a little, okay? We will check in just, just a little. I feel like sometimes we on YouTube use so many other products, you kind of don't let some, you can make anything work, right? Like if you add 15 layers of powder and this and that, but I wanna know how this works just as foundation, with some powder, like a normal person. That's how we're gonna do it. So I am obsessed with these juicy glosses. This is, she's here, because it's at Ulta. Bam, what? Okay guys, so this is it. We will do a check-in, you know, an hour, two hours. I'm going outside, so true test of weather if you will all right guys i'll be back Mommy, with a check-in yes baby that's three okay i got some really bad hair going on um the visor that's not fair the visor took off half of the foundation but besides my glasses marks it looks like a nice looking foundation. I like this. Why did it get such a bad reviews? I do not know. I do not know, but I like it. So um, this is the uh, three hour check-in where I destroyed the forehead because 
I'm an idiot, but I haven't powdered or anything. Little bit breaking up right here, little bit. But um, I'm also got some, what is it, like retinol <clears throat> and all that stuff. And sometimes I do a little bit of peeling right here. And that's something that's happening with all my foundations. So uh, yeah, we'll check back in in a couple hours. She told me she was hungry. She said, Mama, I'm hungry. This is what happens when you take the baby to the park with no nap. So cute. I'm really quite sexy with my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> no one does this when they cut all their hair off. Nobody. Um, so we're at, let's see, what I say? Three o'clock, four, five, six, seven. Five hour check-in, five hours. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did some damage on the forehead, okay, with that visor. So I reapplied a little bit right here because, you know, you're looking scary. But that's for my glasses. That's because I'm tired. But this looks just like any other foundation that I would have on for this long. Nothing is doing anything that any of my other foundations wouldn't do. And it has a nice glow to it. So I'm gonna have to read some of those reviews um, why people hate this foundation because I like it. It's different than the CC cream because the CC cream you can like blend in with your fingers and you can almost get like a no makeup makeup look but you can also build it up to totally full coverage. This one, I wouldn't wanna go in with like a totally blended down look you'd want to you wear this you want to cover some stuff I still feel the same way about the brush the brush is kind of ridiculous so we have gone what I say five hours I'm gonna try to go a little bit longer at least get a full eight but I'm kind of tired we did the park we did ice cream and I really want to wash my hair I got some good hair stuff at least I think it is from Ulta and I just I want to wash my hair sometimes after you get it done you don't want to touch it this time I want to wash it because I feel almost like kind of feels like there could have been bleach on the ends I know that's not the case it just needs a good hair mask and I want to moisturize it I actually want to walk around like this all the time like I'm gonna pin this and rock my ponytail and be like what I'm a badass anyway this is about foundation not my hair but yeah, this is it. I think it looks good, guys. I'm not, you know, this is what my face looks like. And I feel like it's doing a really good job. I don't know why it's rated so low. So I like it. I'm happy with it. I'm maybe one of those odd ones. Shush it. Anyway, um, I can either try to wash my hair and keep it off my face, or I can uh, not, because I usually wash my hair in the bathtub. I'm a weird person. I don't like to wash my hair in, in the shower. It's weird, huh? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. And end, end the video. Okay, so I really wanted to wash my hair. This is a look. This is, who's that one girl that was in the shark movie? That's what I wanted the haircut like eventually. I need to learn how to make it like crinkly like this. Anyway, we're not here about my hair. We are here to talk about my closing moments with this. Okay, confidence in a foundation, all day confidence. I love this, I love it, I think it's awesome. Can you, can you see me? I hope I'm not blurry, oh God. I need a real setup, don't I people? So, um, I am six and a half hours in. I washed my hair in the bathtub upside down and when I was done, I had, you know, marks from where everything <laughs> rinsed away. So all I did was go like this. That's all I did. I didn't re-add any more product. I like this foundation. I'm, I'm going to go in and look at the reviews and see why it did so poorly. I'm just curious, but I like it. I have a little dry and tightness right here, which I've had recently because I've been pretty hardcore on my skincare routine. So I'm sloughing off dead skin and all that fun stuff that you do. And I feel a little tight here. I'm ready to take my makeup off. I have my little marks right here from my glasses that I wear when I'm not filming and uh, mascara. 
I think it's good. It has a nice natural matte finish. I look like it's skin, but yet full coverage enough. I mean, you can still see peeps of what looks like skin to me. The brush, okay, this is where I can understand the brush. If you went in and placed the foundation, moved it around with a thicker brush like this, and then you use this to kind of, I could understand it, but it's so extra. It's so extra. It's just not necessary. I can't really get behind this. It's not like you can put a lot of pressure and you guys saw when I applied, it was like the parts that are supposed to get like under here, because it's so flimsy right here, you're not gonna get a lot of blend with that. Does that make sense? So for $44, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be returning this. I think I'll try it one more time. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted how I feel about this. If I change my mind on the foundation, I'll definitely let you know when I do, you know, like an eight hour or more wear and I'll try to leave it in my videos. I'll try to have a better description box so that way you guys can tell when I do these reviews, okay, does she really like it or not? So yeah, I think, I think this foundation applies better with a brush. I tried to do a little bit with the sponge and it picked up right away. And that's usually how I do my makeup. But I feel like you get, you're gonna use less product if you use a brush. If you use a sponge or that other brush, you're gonna be using a lot of product. So that's it. I 100% like this for somebody that has mature skin, that can be normal skin to dry skin. I really like it. And there haven't been a lot of foundations that I put on immediately that I was like, oh, I love this. Because even with the CC cream, which I love, I tend to layer that with other things. This one, I don't feel like I would have to. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. Don't forget, you can subscribe down here, and for more videos, click over here possibly there. There's places to click. Click them. Click them all.